So if we follow the progress you see in chip war, and I love it as an analogy of like, we knew what the next couple of breakthroughs were in chips. You know, from the point when people were drawing on circuit boards with felt tip pens, basically, and acid etching them, to the point where they were projecting onto them with essentially photo negatives, to the point where photolithography became very, very small, to the point where we now are individually placing atoms and not using etching in all cases. Like each of those steps forward, we knew two ahead, give or take. And the companies that were involved could say, we're going to have these breakthroughs and we're going to gain this capacity. AI is really similar. Like we were talking about agentic behavior two years ago. That was roughly what we were talking about. Engineers that were AI engineers. Well, that was about a year and a half ago. Everyone was kind of talking about that. It looks so similar to semiconductors to me that like we've got a bunch of breakthroughs. We've got mega scaling data centers going to be big. You know, Google can now train in multiple data centers. It's something everyone's working on. So continental scale training systems, that's going to be big. We know there are advancements coming from NVIDIA in their chips. That's going to be big. You had the Grok founder on here. The stuff he shared in your in your podcast you could tell we know what the next few iterations are and then in the lab we've got 50 going and so it's gonna get better for the next two years and we're really confident of that 